the world famous Granville Island. Yes, you can get here by bus or by car, but who wants the hassle when you can go the fun way? Let's get across by tugboat, otherwise known as the Aquabus. See that little guy? It's an Aquabus and it takes you across to Granville Island from several parts across the way. It's actually a little tugboat that costs us six to seven dollars and fifty cents per turn depending on where you're leaving from. It is privately owned, not public transit, but it is frequent, so you can take it a little boat ride, why not? Thank you. How much do you pay? Uh, it's three fifty each one way or six dollars round trip. Of the two, this is the larger tugboat they use in which bikes and strollers may board. Compared to the other locations, the Hornby Street departure is probably the shortest ride and only 30 seconds one way. Welcome to Granville Island, one of the most popular destinations for both tourists and residents alike. Words cannot describe how beautiful the views are of South Downtown Vancouver from this point of the island. Aside from the views, it's an incredibly popular place to eat and buy some groceries. The high quality of this food at this market is why both restaurateurs and residents keep coming back. Next to the public market is a shopping area called the Net Loft Shops, which houses a variety of stores full of unique gifts. At the Circle Craft Store, you will find a wide variety of high quality items, all crafted by well accomplished artists and artisans. Just down the hallway is a small boutique called Little Dream. This store sells clothing and accessories made by locals only here in Vancouver. It's time to head on back. On this return trip, we're taking the smaller of the tugboats. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe.